In this demonstration, we will discuss the use of the Web Data Entry application. We will start by introducing this application within DHIS2. We will then show the steps necessary to select the different parameters required to start the data entry process. We will also cover some of the mechanics of entering data in the web application. We will also view the data element history of a particular value, save comments, and review the data element audit trail for a particular data value entered within the application. We will also show examples of both input validation and validation rules within the web application. We will also discuss how we can link data entry with our reporting rate summaries. And lastly, we will show you how offline data entry works. Let's go ahead and get started with the session. In this demonstration, we are going to cover the basics of web-based data entry. In order to access data entry, we'll go to Apps, and we'll select the data entry application. In order to start the data entry process, we need to select our core data dimensions. This includes the organization unit, the data set, and the period. In order to select an organization unit, we can go to the left side of the screen. Here you can see that the organization unit hierarchy exists in the data entry application. We can either use the plus symbols beside the organization unit names to expand the tree, or we can use the green magnifying glass to search for a particular organization unit. When a search term matches what you've entered, you can go ahead and click on the unit. This will take you directly to the organization unit that you are searching for. You can see that that particular organization unit is now highlighted in an orange color and displays as our organization unit selection in our data entry panel. The next step is to select the data set. Let's work with the Malaria Monthly Facility Report in this example. After selecting the dataset, we now select the period. This is the period in which we are reporting our data. Upon selecting those three inputs, the organization unit, dataset, and period, we can now see the data entry screen appear. There are a couple features that we will now go over within this web-based data entry. In order to enter data, I can start by clicking on any of the fields that are available. I can just enter in my values. I can hit enter to move to the next field. I can also use tab to move down or forward. See when I enter a data value, it changes color from yellow to green. This happens relatively quickly. You'll notice on the data entry page, there is no save button either at the top or bottom of the page. Data values are saved as we enter them into DHIS2. The green color indicates that the data has been saved. When it is in yellow color, it means that the data has not yet been saved. 